what's going on jeromes it's that time of the week again the best videos of the week the intro reports because you don't see the face we talking ugly up in hell that's right so take a look at the vikings and cowboys first injury reports on wednesday ahead of their sunday night football showdown starting off with the vikings two dnps michael pierce still not participating uh, with that elbow injury that he suffered uh, before the Browns game and then aggravated in the Browns game. So we'll see. You know, with the bye week, we were hoping and praying that Michael Pierce was going to be out on that field because he would be a big-time help shutting down that Cowboys running game with Zeke and Pollard. But he, he needs to be at least limited Thursday, Friday. Would like to see him get up to speed and get out there in some capacity, even if he is just playing uh, early downs. But I guess we'll see. I mean, Armand for Watts and James Lynch were solid in filling in. Diesel, Dalvin Thompson, Sheldon Richardson holding it down at the three-tech spot. Whatever. Interesting. So, D.D. Westbrook, uh, DNP Wednesday with an ankle injury coming off the bye. Now, it's interesting because the Vikings uh, uh, let go of Amir Abdullah, and then he signed with the Panthers, and he did not do much in his debut with the Panthers. But also, the Panthers did not do much against the Giants. They got their ass whooped. But D.D., who has been... An adventure when returning punts. So he's out, Amir, uh, potentially. Amir Abdullah is already out. So now what are you going to do? You could put KJ Osborne back there. He was your punt returner last season. But remember, you benched him three times. But maybe his uh, punt returning uh, would take a step up, just like he has offensively this season. And for kick return, you do have ISM, who's uh, fully back from his toe injury. And also you have Kene and Wangu on the 53. Let's go. Get some speed out there, man. Then he had two limited, Anthony Barr, who I mean, they're just giving a quasi-veteran day with that knee. He's going to be good to go. Ben Ellison, who missed the Panthers game, and that's why they elevated Luke Stocker. <laughs> Come on up, man. You're going to block. And also Chris Herna got the time of day. Got himself a touchdown, too. Uh, but Ben Ellison, the pride of Howley, Minnesota, with that knee and foot injury limited. Uh, he's trending to uh, potentially play on Sunday. And two full, even though they had him listed, Alexander Madison, fine with that shoulder. Adam Thielen with that foot injury uh, that he was listed and was limited before the Panthers game. He's going to be good to go. Also, notice there's a name missing here. No Dalvin Cook, not listed with that ankle after the bye week. Love to see it. With the Cowboys, the biggest issue is going to be Dak Prescott and that right calf injury. And he was in a walking boot after the Patriots' overtime win two weeks ago. Uh, but he was limited. He was doing some individual drills and some work off to the side. We'll see how he progresses. And even if he plays, like he's going to be limited with that calf. So mobility will be down. His ability to plant will be down as well. And... I'm kind of okay with it. I'm okay. And also, note, that calf injury is on the side of where he had that horrific ankle injury last season. Tyron Smith, their premier left tackle, limited with an ankle injury. He will be fine. He's been uh, dealing with a couple of random injuries this year. He was listed with the neck earlier in the year, but he'll be fine and good to go. Trevon Diggs, limited with the ankle. Now, you could say that this is a big deal, but he was also uh, DNP, DNP, and limited ahead of the Patriots game two weeks ago, and he looked pretty okay there. He's fine. Uh, in terms of pass rush, uh, Dorrance Armstrong uh, was limited. Randy Gregory is going to be fully good to go. That's going to be a big-time test for Christian Derrissaw. And also, wide receiver three, Cedric Wilson, uh, was a full participant with that shoulder. Although, ooh, Michael Gallup, come on down. Everyone's coming on. Let's go. And then uh, Donovan Wilson uh, was a full go with that groin. Uh, so that's it. Let's take a look at the Vikings and Cowboys injury reports. Just Michael Pierce. Michael Pierce bears watching. We'll see what happens uh, as we approach uh, Thursday and Friday practices. But your thoughts on our thoughts, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put that work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.